So I have clients that are musicians and for me, um, being a musician and being a Pilates person, combining the two was difficult at first. I, I woke up out of surgery and could not expand the center of my body and the nurse is telling me to breathe deeply and I couldn't comprehend that. So in short story terms, I thought I was gonna die because I couldn't breathe the way that I was taught in music school. So for some of my clients that are suffering from core and lower back injury, especially diastasis recti or coming out of a trauma or a surgery, being able to continue being a musician and breathe is difficult. So I'm using the philosophy that I've learned from Pilates and I'm applying it today to musicians, specifically wind musicians and singers that have to use their lungs and power from their core in order to make a sound. So typically in a music school, most music schools will teach you to breathe into your belly, to expand and contract from the belly. So what I'm saying is not that that is wrong, but that is just one way of doing things. If you look, and I wish that I had a, a visual that I could move and point to for you, but look it up. Look at the actual muscles of the body, the bones of the body, and where the lungs and the diaphragm actually are. The lungs are not down here. This is your rectus abdominis, this is your stomach, and the, these are your intestines and bowels. The actual lungs are located underneath the rib cage, which is up here and it goes actually all the way around from here all the way around to your back so if you're actually inflating the organ of the lungs it actually inflates under the arms and into the back and at the same time the diaphragm will pull down because the diaphragm is under the lungs not down here for some reason in some music schools they're still teaching the diaphragm is down here it's actually here uh, right underneath the lungs and it's an involuntary muscle you cannot push from your diaphragm it is involuntary so when you inflate the lungs and the diaphragm goes down then you use the core muscles the rectus abdominis and obliques and stability of the transverse abdominis muscle to exhale the air the correct way so we're going to practice that today using a pilates breath and give yourself grace here because it might take you some time to get and to feel what that's going to be like and to maintain a good sound on your instrument or in your voice. So take your hands around the actual rib cage, take your shoulders down your back, press them down and back away from your ears. As you breathe in, expand the actual ribs without expanding this. So you're actually scooping the navel up and under as you're expanding the ribs all the way around into your back and then you keep everything flat and strong. In an actual Pilates class, it's in through the nose and out through the mouth. It does not apply when you're in music, of course, you have to breathe in through the mouth and then you have resistance as it comes out through the mouth, either from your voice or from a physical instrument. So that's what we need to practice after just getting and feeling what that feels like inflating the lungs like this exhaling to keep everything flat and strong and to bring the lungs together. So the shoulders aren't going up and down. The bottom rib cage is not going out and in. The entire lung cavity is expanding. And then you're using the core muscles to bring everything back together. All right, so. Now let's use a shh, ready? One solid stream of air that does not change pitch. Now breathe in through the mouth and use a shh. Shh. Okay, now we're going to sing a note. Let's try ah. So breathe in. Ah. And do not go sharp or flat. Do not change your pitch again. Uh, okay, if you have a mouthpiece, the next step would be to create a sound on that mouthpiece that does not change in pitch, and then to add it to your instrument. It's gonna take some practice. I do believe it can be done. 
Let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. I know that this might be way left field for people that have been in music school or for music teachers around the world. But for some people, this is really going to help them with their core and lower back issues. For some people, it is going to be a more effective way 